Mao Zedong, was born on December 26, 1893 and died on September 9, 1976. He is commonly known as Chairman Mao. He was a Chinese Communist revolutionary who became the founder of the People's Republic of China, ruling from its establishment in 1949 until he died 27 years later. When Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev visited China in 1958, Mao held a meeting in his pool because he knew Khrushchev couldn't swim. Mao only did this because he felt the Soviets had disrespected him when he visited Moscow in 1949. During the Moscow visit, Mao had expected to be treated as a guest of honor and he was insulted when he was only allowed a short meeting with Joseph Stalin. So, when Khrushchev visited China, Mao took his revenge. Mao held a meeting in his pool and suggested Khrushchev join him in the deep end, and gave him a flotation device. But Khrushchev struggled to float. In Khrushchev's memoirs, he tried to downplay the embarrassment. By saying, Of course I could not compete with him when it came to long distance swimming. In 1956, Mao launched the Hundred Flowers campaign. This encouraged people to express criticisms of national policy. But later he used it as an opportunity to target critics and send them to prison camps. Mao had said, Criticism of the bureaucracy is pushing the government towards the better. Millions of letters were sent to the Premier's office. People also shared their criticism through posters and rallies. Major complaints brought up China's low standards of living and the unfair privileges enjoyed by Communist Party members. It's unknown whether Mao had originally planned to punish the critics. Or if he decided later to take the opportunity. In, in 1962, Mao started a sexual relationship with a 14-year-old girl. She was a member of the Chinese Air Force's cultural troupe that entertained Mao. Shortly after, she told her parents and her father wrote an angry letter to Mao. The relationship lasted five years. The father had been a Mao supporter and was proud of his daughter for entertaining the chairman before he found out. A postman later gave the letter back saying it could be a death sentence for the father. The father changed his mind about sending the letter after hearing the postman's warning. In night, Jiang King, Mao's wife, became angry about her husband's affairs, she told friends. Why shouldn't a woman have male concubines? They agreed. She couldn't stop Mao from sleeping around, but she could get even. And soon Mao's wife had a male harem of her own. But unlike Mao, she went for the classy people. Mao didn't use toilets unless he absolutely had to. Whenever he had to do his business, he would head out into the woods. Unfortunately Mao was constipated most of his adult life. His third wife, Hezis Hen, had to give him enemas. Apparently even his feces were spun into propaganda. One writer said that. During the long march, Mao's bowel movements were a source of inspiration to the soldiers. Mao's favorite hobby was swimming. According to his propaganda ministers, he was the best in the world. In 1966, he did the annual cross Yangtze swimming competition. He swam the Yangtze River, making the nine-mile swim in 65 minutes. That means that Mao swam at a speed of 3.8 meters per second. Making the then 72-year-old man almost twice as fast as Michael Phelps. Unfortunately, the propaganda ministry lost the full video of Mao's extraordinary swim. Mao never brushed his teeth. Instead of brushing, Mao would rinse his mouth out with tea and eat the leaves. When his doctor suggested Mao use a toothbrush, he replied, A tiger never brushes his teeth. And when it came to cleaning his genitals, he reportedly said, I wash myself inside the bodies of my women. According to Mao's personal doctor, women that caught sexually transmitted diseases from the chairman were proud to be infected. Mao infected several women with the STD, trichomonas, vaginless, and that the illness transmitted by Mao was seen as a badge of honor by the women, as a symbol of their relationship with him. In 1973, Mao wanted to export Chinese women to the United States. He offered to send 10 million. 
Mao believed sending the women would lead to bilateral trade between the two countries and would also solve China's overpopulation problem. He said China was a very poor country with an excess of women. He made the offer at a meeting with National Security Advisor Henry Kissinger, in 1958. Mao introduces the Four Pests campaign where he orders the extermination of rats, flies, mosquitoes and sparrows. But by killing sparrows there's an explosion in the locust population which contributed to the famine in 1959. Up to 45 million people died of starvation. Sparrows were targeted because they eat grain and fruit. The original idea was that killing sparrows would improve agricultural output. But people forgot that sparrows also eat insects. Meaning the extermination of sparrows actually resulted in lower rice yields.